Jadak du Babadag by André Stasiak is a profound and evocative travelogue that meanders through the landscapes and the minds of the people inhabiting the remote regions of Eastern Europe. Stasiak's narrative style and his ability to blend personal reflections with a deep connection to the places he visits make this book a remarkable piece of contemporary literature. At its core, Jadak du Babadag is a journey, both external and internal. Stasiak, the author, embarks on a series of road trips through the lesser-known corners of Eastern Europe, tracing a path through Ukraine, Romania, and Moldova. The external journey unfolds through his vivid descriptions of the landscapes, towns, and villages he encounters along the way. His prose paints a picture of a world that is simultaneously strange and familiar, a place where time seems to have stopped. Stasiak's language is highly descriptive, and he employs vivid imagery to transport the reader to these remote locations. His descriptions are often poetic, conveying a strong sense of place and atmosphere. He writes, I enter the village as if it were a cage of rusted wire and broken glass. This use of metaphor creates a visual and emotional connection between the reader and the places he explores. Stasiak's descriptive prowess allows the reader to experience the sights, sounds, and even the smells of these landscapes, making the journey immersive and sensory. The narrative is not linear, mirroring the unpredictable nature of the road and the meandering paths he takes. Stasiak's storytelling is more akin to a series of interconnected vignettes than a traditional travelogue. He weaves together memories, historical tidbits, encounters with locals, and his own musings, often shifting between past and present. This nonlinear structure reflects the idea that a journey is not just about reaching a destination, it's about the experiences and revelations along the way. What sets Jadak du Babadag apart from conventional travel literature is Stasiak's introspective approach. He uses his travels as a lens through which to explore deeper themes and ideas. Stasiak's encounters with people in remote villages provide profound insights into the human condition and the complex interplay between individual lives and the larger historical and cultural context. He reflects on the enduring impact of the past on these communities, writing, Memory is a specific space and the fate of places passes through it. Throughout the book, Stasiak grapples with the notions of time, memory, and identity. He contemplates how the people he meets have preserved their traditions and cultures in the face of modernity and globalization. He observes how these communities are simultaneously tied to their histories and yet shaped by the contemporary world. This tension between tradition and change is a central theme in the book, and Stasiak's meditations on it are thought-provoking. Jadak du Babadag also explores the idea of borders, both physical and metaphorical. The author traverses a region where national boundaries are porous, and the identities of the people are fluid. This gives rise to reflections on the arbitrariness of borders and the resilience of human connections that transcend them. Stasiak writes, What is a border? A line on a map, a scar on the earth, the end of one history, the beginning of another. Stasiak's prose is contemplative and often philosophical. His observations and reflections are interspersed with moments of literary beauty and transcendence. His writing captures the essence of the places he visits and the people he encounters, revealing the interconnectedness of all things. The book serves as a reminder that the act of traveling is not just about covering physical distances but also about exploring the vast landscapes of the human soul. In conclusion, Jadak du Babadag is a literary gem that transcends the genre of travel writing. André Stasiak's narrative style, his keen observations, and his introspective approach make this book a profound exploration of the human experience, the passage of time, and the significance of place. Through his journey, 
He not only paints a vivid picture of Eastern Europe's remote regions but also delves deep into the essence of existence, leaving readers with a greater appreciation for the world and the people who inhabit it.